Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tamia Jane and I create um, videos relating to a lifestyle and also self-development. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about starting over as you can see by the title. Um, if I am looking down, it's because I have my notes. I don't wanna get sidetracked on this conversation and I don't want this video to become super long. The reason why I'm really creating this video is because I feel like a lot of us are going through this weird transition with starting over and I honestly wanted to highlight the positive aspect um, of this topic because you know when we're talking about starting over and whatnot um, a lot of us attach it with um, feeling defeated or overwhelmed. There's always like a negative feeling towards starting over and I feel like a lot of people don't talk, talk about um, the positive side of starting over. Okay, real quick, before we talk about the positives of starting over, I am gonna draw back and talk about some negative, um, some negative feelings on why we might not wanna start over or that feeling we get as we are starting over. A lot of the times when we are starting over, whatever the case may be, we have this weird fear of failure, okay? Nobody wants to be a failure, right? Um, so let me give you an example. I literally pulled myself out of school, right? I only went for two terms. I went through May through, I did like, I don't know what I did because they go by terms, but um, I went to school in May and then I completed school through May through the end of august right so i was having this weird feeling of not wanting to do school anymore and i don't i don't know if it's because i i don't know if i want to go to school or whatever the case may be but i was going for business, business administration so it was like low-key kind of boring the medical field is always going to have stability so i had to literally pull myself out of school and transition into doing some more research so I can start going to school for um, radi uh, radiography. As I'm pulling myself out of school, I feel stupid. I feel dumb. I feel like a failure because I'm really trying to push to be the best person that I can be. But if it's truly something that I don't want to do, um, I have to just accept, you know, I did what I can do and just move on with my life. Um, I did have, you know, like I said, some negative feelings towards uh, pulling myself out of school. But I knew that if I pulled myself um, out of school now, I wouldn't be hurting myself in the long run, um, especially when I have grants and whatnot and I don't have to pay those grants back. I'm like using more of my the money that's free into something like I could care less about. I honestly had to switch my mindset and I have to tell myself that life is not a race, okay? Life is not a race it's not too late to start over if you're 50 if you're 60 if you're 20 if you're 30 whatever the case may be whatever your age is it is not too late to start over okay let's just ingrain that into our brains many people have started over and found success and happiness um in the paths the new paths i should say that they have you know create it for themselves so it's never too late to do something different with your life in order to be a better person if it's going to make you a better person and you believe if you believe that um this is going to make you a better person then i say just do it for the sake of your self-development and for yourself another reason why a lot of people do not want to start over is because we don't want to give up what we already have, even though it's not working, right? I'll give you an example. Um, relationships, right? I remember one time I was in this really crazy relationship and at that time, a couple of years ago, it was so hard for me to leave this person. Even though he was doing me wrong and everything like that, it was so hard for me to let go of this person, right? Because I invested my time, I invested my resources, I um, invested in my effort into this person even though i had no business being in this relationship um i just couldn't let go of the fact that i wasted 
my time i wanted to remain to stay with this person i didn't care of what they put me through because i already invested in so much time and a lot of us in relationships situationships or friendships or whatever the case may be we feel like since we have already known this person for so long now what we might as well just keep them there right when we take ourselves out of situations um that leave us mentally and emotionally drained we create new opportunities for ourselves um just because you don't see it right now and you or you are going through the feeling of pain and agony or whatever the case may be you might not see it now but i promise you um the first step is to really have that courage to get out of um your comfort zone it's always going to be courage over comfort this really means that you're not settling for anything but rather pursuing what aligns with your dreams and your goals that you want to create with yourself right i didn't want this video to be too long um but these are just some of the aspects that i have negative and positive that i have about starting over um i want to let people know that starting over is something that everybody has to go through and if you start it sooner than later you will thank yourself like i said before in the long run um so just remember that when you're going through these things it's not gonna feel good it's gonna be very uncomfortable right but i promise you a lot of the people that have that have success and and has prospered in their lives they did it because they had to get out of their comfort zone and do things for themselves that they couldn't even imagine doing they just had to go for it and when you go for it i promise you everything's gonna be fine right so honestly that's really what I have to say at this moment. I hope that whoever's watching this video um, enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can also um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. Um, like, comment, um, and have a wonderful day or night. And I'll see you guys in the next video.